Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. In today's video, we'll discuss the static carousel widget of Element Pack Pro 5.15 version. Let's break a leg. Let's drag and drop the static carousel widget inside your web page. From the items section on the content tab, you can see the carousel items listed and you can add new carousel slider items as you wish. On each item, you can choose an image for the slider. Let's pick one. From the additional settings section, you can pick a suitable image size for the slider items. Then let's change the title. Some words for the subtitle. More on the text. And a read more link if you want. After you place all the detail on every slider item, the static carousel will look like this. It's the basic interface. From the additional settings, you can change the number of columns up to 6. Then you can adjust the row gap for the items. We have the item match height feature enabled here. Right below, the bunch of switchers is for showing or hiding a certain elements from the display. Like how you can just turn off the read more buttons by flipping a switcher from the options. The same goes for the image, text, and title. Again, you can apply an image mask option for the images to make them appear in a totally unique way. There are 20 masking options available. Lastly, you get to align your content using the alignment option at the bottom. On the read more section, you can change the button text and put an icon beside the text with customization options. From the navigation section, you can change the navigation system as you prefer. There are single functions and combinations to pick from. Let's go with the arrows and dots combination. You can make the dots dynamic by clicking the switcher named dynamic bullet. Then you can position the navigation on lots of different angles if you want. Also, you can choose from the 23 unique arrowhead styles available. On the carousel settings section, you will find mostly animation controls for the static carousel widget. There's the layout, autoplay, speed, number of slides to scroll at once, etc. There's also the option named center slide that makes the slider span from the center. This mode is suited for mobile devices. Let's move on to the style tab. The first section has content padding, background, border, item padding and more options for the items. Let's start with changing the background color into something lighter. Next, go into the image section for some adjustment to the images. First, get some spacing between the content and the image by using this scroll bar. Using the CSS filters, you can customize the image properties, mainly the colors. There are more options to go by here. Let's customize the title from the next section. First the colors. Then some spacing between the title and text. 
You can also customize the typography for unique fonts. Next, let's change the typography of the text. Pick a nice and good looking font for the text. The next section is for the read more button. Here, you will get color, border, padding, margin, and typography options. Let's add some padding. Then go for a deep hover color. Looks good enough. In the navigation section, let's change the arrow color into something deep. You will get a separate set of options for the dots. Let's add a hover color for them. Then a lighter color for the normal mode. You can use the offset values to position the navigation according to your preferences. That's it. Whoa, what an amazing slider we have just designed. Pretty easy and fun, right? Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully, you like and subscribe to our channel and stay updated. Until next time.